Investigating the disturbing Super Mario World ROM hack. Let's give this a little watch, shall we? Yeah, give it a little ganders. Hey, let's have a little look, shall we? Oh, again. You're probably wondering how an unsettling image such as this relates to a Super Mario game. I'm wondering why your voice is that deep. Jesus Christ, it just rumbled me from being heterosexual to slightly homosexual. Well, what if I told you it's actually the hidden centerpiece to an infamous ROM hack of Super Mario World that just so happens to still be playable to this day? Oh, really? Let's play it, man. I hate you. Today, That's not nice. join me as I take an in-depth look into this disturbing ROM hack, the story behind the perplexing image, and the legacy it brought to modern creepypastas. The story behind the Mario ROM hack. Well, buckle in, guys. I first want to take up, you back to 2013. It's a crisp autumn evening in the city. I'm lying on my bed in my apartment, trying to review the notes from a university lecture earlier that day. But as most students would, I got distracted by the glory of pizza and the internet. Yes, I was an avid viewer of YouTube content back in the day. Avid viewer of porn. <laughs> That's going to really gross detail. Well, okay, can we get back on to... I was watching some girls get shit on. Whoa, Usually whoa! just watch the scary ghost stuff. Mate, please stop. But I came across a certain video that evening from a content creator I'm sure most of you are very well familiar with. Go on. It's Jojo Shua. Mike, formerly no, of the never heard Paddle, of him. And the host of Creepy Gaming released a video on a strange Mario ROM hack. Keep in mind, this was during the peak of internet creepypastas, so a lot of them followed the same pattern. Hyperrealism, <laughs> the antagonizing feature of the story, somehow That's disgusting. kills or physically affects the narrator. But this one was different. As I watched his video, I realized the game contained none of that. Only a dreadful, eerie feeling, which in turn made me instantly hooked. Wow. And now here I am, roughly seven years later, seven ready years. to retell this same story. First of all, I'm not going to call it a creepypasta, since there's verifiable proof that everything you're about to hear actually happened. But with that out of the way, the events began as follows. It's late December 2010. Adam, a moderator over at SuperMarioWorldCentral.net, a site dedicated to hacking the iconic Super Nintendo game, was browsing the ROM hacks requiring mod verification section. After scrolling through them for a bit, one caught his eye, as it was simply titled, Mario. Wow. Since it was technically his job to do so, he downloaded Mario. the hack and was greeted with two files, one being the ROM and the other a text file. Usually where hack creators will add any remarks or instructions. Yeah. But upon opening the said text document, he found what seemed to be the ROM code copied into text form. And as he stared at the jumbled text, he noticed the phrase, find me, hidden, oh, yikes. And repeated without context. Sure thing, buddy. Thinking Hide and nothing seek. of it, Adam continued on to the game. But this is when things took a turn down the stranger road. After booting up the ROM, the opening title was replaced with simply Mario, and the color sounds like a really family-friendly game. Appeared to be less vibrant, as if they were dulled out. Is this Adam actual gameplay? The whole situation as wrong, feeling as if something bad happened. And that's exactly the feeling. He this music's very overpowering. Because after getting into Soon the you're not going to be able to hear him, he's going to be... Everything was mismatched. So there's binary code, right? Cat the opening letter stated that Mario was added again. The enemies in each level were missing, along with the level titles being changed to something darker. 
never come back. Text boxes also displayed cryptic messages such as, I hate you, and this is the selfish way out. That's a point. That's a point. Oh, is it like... The level designs were completely altered and gave off an unsettling feeling as the lack of music, enemies, and ambience left it feeling empty. The only normal part of this hack was the boss fight with Iggy, but that quickly changed after defeating him, when this ominous message displayed as the castle crumbled. I was unable to be found. The victim was found lying on a carpet, cause of death unknown. And then, as you unidentified. continue on, to what the, the hell? What's missing. wrong with this? There is a level, or what's left of it anyway, that only has a few final messages, Fly away. hidden features, and the eventual permanent darkness where the game ceases to continue. Something that Adam described as the representation of Mario's horrific death. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Disturbed after the fact. Oh my God. Adam wrote up his experience, posted it back on the forums, and anxiously waited for people to respond. Initially, Adam's story was met with mixed reception. Some were interested, some freaked out, and some laughed. But everything changed the moment the founder of the site, Kieran, stepped in. Uh -oh. He happened to Here recognize the strange text wasn't random or game code at all, but actually part of a JPEG header. After a bit of tweaking around, Kieran managed to recover an image from the file, albeit corrupted, but this is what it was. Okay, well that's a very nice image. At this point, the tone in the thread pulled a full 180. Those who were laughing were now interested, and those who were interested okay. were now creeped out. Here's a hack. Especially a since hack. the photograph seemed to coincide with the disturbing statement after crushing Iggy's castle. Shortly thereafter, the story began to catch on with the public, even being published as a creepypasta a week later. Oh. People began to add their own experiences from the game, saying lights flickered after playing, computers crashed, yep. and that the distorted image was actually a real photograph of a murder victim. Oh, well, let's hope, let's just As pretend it's not. As these claims piled over time, thousands more became invested, which led to a multitude of YouTubers even covering the story on their own channels. Luigi Kid Gaming. But this leads us to the main questions. Who uploaded this ROM hack? And where did this image I did. come from? It was me, smiley face. I did it. It was me. Okay, well, I admit it. Part, our pal Mullet Mike solved this question years ago. That's Dr. Disrespect. In his 2013 video, he managed to contact Adam on his YouTube channel. To summarize, Adam stated his experience was genuine, King and he Star. was in no way affiliated with the creation of the hack. He then went on to state he got in touch with the actual creator of the hack, and said, he's a relatively normal person, nothing creepy about him at all. However, <laughs> just a normal when it guy. comes to the deranged image, Hi, can I help you? How are you doing? things get a little bit tricky. We know people made claims saying it was a photograph of a real murder victim. It's hence not. the coroner's report. But there's no verifiable proof of this. Exactly, how could that be? But what I did read is that this photo apparently existed years before this ROM hack was even uploaded. Once again, although there is no exact proof of this claim, multiple individuals stated that this photograph was used on 4chan's paranormal boards in the mid-2000s in order to promote an unnamed band at the time. Oh. This user summarized it by stating a man claimed the photo appeared as a file on his computer and throughout the day, random sound files would appear. If played, okay. they would make him that feel some sick and stuff. It went on for almost two days until the user apparently admitted it was all a hoax in order to promote his music. I even attempted to certify this claim by reverse image searching the photograph on multiple search engines, but the earliest I could find results for 
was December 2010, and with a source of Super Mario World Central dot net. Wow. Oh. Very so interesting, man. Is Creepypasta factual, is a very... It would be safe to say that oh, the Mario Rob has nothing sinister hiding inside of it. However, if it's not, then we are back to square one. So wait, Nevertheless, what? I do believe it paved the way for future video game creepypasta-like stories, such as I Hate You, Mario.exe, and Sonic.exe. Sonic.exe, that one was weird, Just man. because a lot of the things you find online are fake, doesn't mean everything else out there is too. So keep your guard up, and remember to stay safe online. Yeah. Because you never know where that next click might just lead. Well, it led me here, mate. So, ooh, that's some... But as always, thank you for watching. God damn, this guy's voice. But as always... Oh, this is that Billy guy. The guy who's in the long horse video that we watched. But I swear he sounded different. I love this. What is this? What is this? What is this? Who is this? What is this? There's so many what is this. What? Come on, Big Lip.